Hurry up, Johnny. It's half past eight. It's the first day of school, and you mustn't be late. Oh, I don't have to be there till quarter to ten. I've got lots of time. So sing it again. Sing what? That school day song. You know, the one when you were a girl in Calico. Oh, you mean the song we used to sing when I first went to school? Yes, that's the one. Sing it again. School days, school days, dear old golden rule days. Reading and writing and arithmetic, taught to the tune of a hickory stick. I was your girl in calico. You were my bashful barefoot bow. I wrote on your slate, I love you, Joe. When we were a couple of kids. you though. T Terrace's teacher came over to visit him. At Miss Fee? No, here at home. Wow. I know. So what'd you do today? Good. Um, we were playing, we were reading a story and well, we got a Oh, and I like Did you like riding the bus? lunch? Chicken and bread. Oh. And we drink chocolate milk. Really? And look, you look like you're still clean. You didn't get your shoes dirty. And your shirt's not dirty. And my book bag. And your and book bag's still good. What about my book bag? Your book bag's in the house. Wow. All right. You had a good day. Your first day in kindergarten. Yes. Let me see your but foot toy in. Maybe and Mr. Yes. Norwood brought you home. Oh. Cool. All right.
So, tell me what today is. Today is the first day of school. And what grade are you in? Fourth. Wow. Number four. So, my teacher is Miss... Hawkins? Hawkins. Hawkins, maybe? I mm -hmm. think. Your homeroom? My homeroom is Hawkins. And I have a lot of good people in my class. Like, actual and other people. So, um... Yeah, uh-uh. This will be a good day for me. So, first grade. Who's the man? You the man. Yes. Okay. Anything else you want to say to the fans? No. Okay, that's it. About to pop you in your mouth. <laughs> Interviews. Torian, uh, Terrace, Torian, fifth grade, Terrace, fourth grade. So, Terrace, you're going back to Church Street. Tell me how you're feeling today. You're going into the fourth grade. Today is August the what? August the 7th, 2014. So, Terrace. your birthday. Uh, Dave, since my birthday, I'm going to be happy, so happy. I'm going to say, Miss Gardner, my birthday's here, yeah. All right, yeah, Miss Gardner's your teacher. Yeah. So tell me how you're feeling about starting the fourth grade at Church Street. Okay, well, I'm feeling good. Yeah? Yeah, and I'm excited that I'm coming back. Mm -hmm. and sometimes I might see my third grade teacher, Miss Lawyer, uh -huh. but... Sometimes I might be doing work with Miss Gardner. Okay. So, Torian, your yeah. first day at Church Street as a fifth grader, your teachers are who? Miss. Who? I forgot the name. Miss Woods and Miss Evans. Miss Woods and Miss Evans. Okay. And how are you feeling about starting a new school for the final year of elementary? This way, let's go. I'm glad. Mm -hmm. I could say I'm. Uh, I'm excited that I'm going to the fifth grade to see how easy it is. Wonderful. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. All right. And the school year's underway. We got Dr. Dobbins, who is directing traffic. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And people coming. I'm creating what I need to create. It don't matter. I need to create some safe, orderly environment. There you go. Good morning. <laughs> All right. Good morning, young man. Good morning. So, what's today? Today is the first day of um, middle school. Well, not first day of middle school. First day of my last year in middle school. Wow. So, basically, it's the first day of eighth grade for me. And um, last year, didn't know I'm in eighth grade. And I'm going to tomorrow middle school. And um, it's... A different learning environment because last year I was in a different school but basically with Marl in a way so yeah I'm gonna see how Marl is so no more Unidos yeah. in name but still now it's the dual language program for Marl hey Mr. Bunny <laughs> I'm doing my, my first day of school oh interview. We do this, we've done this since kindergarten. It's terrible. 
It's not. That's uh, Mr. Bonilla, Torian, social studies teacher. He'll be teaching social studies for me? Well, his former. Oh. Yeah, I don't think you'll have him this year. No, because we have a different person. All right, well, keep going. Ask questions. Um, okay, so let's see. Last year of middle school, what do you think it'll be like? Well, I mean, it'll be hectic, probably, because tomorrow is like a really, really black school, and some of the black kids have um, hectic issues. We'll say it that way. But I think it'll also be a very good experience. I mean, I, I think Morrow is a great school. Um, well, not great school. I think it's a good school. I think it. I think if they really show us the potential of Morrow and give us all the um, stuff that other schools have, like um, uh, better learning material, as in um, stuff that'll help us to learn the material better, um, visual aid, probably, um, and, you know, the teachers, I want them to care about us, which, that's what the teachers at Unidos had, and I also want that to be what the teachers at Morrow have. So, you can also participate in sports programs here yeah. through the school, so okay. what are you thinking about? Well, I mean, as you know, well, as she knows, the coach wants me to play football for him, so we're thinking on that. I still have to get my physical and everything, and then I might play baseball for the high school for Morrow High, maybe. Is that how that goes? Really, it'd be JV for the high school? It'd be JV, and then there's varsity when you get to ninth grade. Oh, you can. Well, I think you'd have to. No, it's, get on. It's eighth grade, and then once you get on. Then you play JV, and then once you you have to on, you have to get on a varsity team. They don't just put you on a varsity team because you're in high school. No, I know. Yeah. So if anyway, you've already played JV. You don't have to play it in high school. Really? So then you could just play varsity, I guess. Okay. Well, we'll see about that. Well, yeah. Well, well what Thank about you. swimming? Oh, swimming in the winter, maybe. Swimming in the winter, we're probably most likely going to do that. I don't know about here though. Okay. We'll probably swim somewhere else. Like if yeah, I'm... it's at the aquatic center. So, how do you feel about today? Today? I think it's the start of my um, career. In learning. How do you think you're going to do this school year? What okay. is your What is your attitude? My mentality. Mm, yes. I um, like to do better as a student. Not just as a student, but as a person. What types of classes do you have? You have some challenging classes this year. That I haven't taken already. Well, that I have taken already, basically. Part of it. Oh. I have Algebra 1, which I actually studied that. It's, it's basically, some of it will be um, slope. Basically, the um, formulas of slope, how to calculate slope. Um, stuff I ha have learned already, so... And I think I'll be good. You have honors science? Yeah, I have honors science. You'll have high school science. Yeah. AP. And you'll have uh, Spanish too. So yeah. you'll be knocking out another Spanish credit for high school. Yeah. So it's going to be a great year. And I think you're going to do amazing. And I, I love you so much. And I'm so proud of you, Torian. Yeah, I'm proud of myself, I guess. Good. All right. Well, thank you, Ching Chong. Let's go to school. <laughs> okay. And there it is. Morrow Middle School. Magnet. I think I'm going to do it like, um, um, ice them. And then fade off into the sun.
Okay, so today is what? First day of school. And what grade? 10th grade. Where are we right now and what is the date? At Morrow High School. And it is on August 5th. Also known as my grandmother's birthday. Your great grandmother. Same thing. August 5th, 2019. <laughs> so tell me how you're feeling right now with starting 10th grade. I'm feeling fine, really. I mean, 9th grade was... 9th grade, so 10th grade is going to be 10th grade. Wow, that is so profound. 9th grade was 9th grade. So in other words, it is what it is. Yeah. And what are we planning on doing this school year? What is, what is going to be the high point? And, and we got on our... Straight A's, really. That's all I really want, straight A's, because I know I'm going to do well in baseball. And, and that's, that's a given. So, straight A's. Straight A's. Yeah. All right. We heard it right here. It's marked. Well, I wish you a great school year, sweetheart. I wish myself a great school year. I love you much. I love you too. Here we go. Orange juice. It's my mom. <laughs> All right. Looking for John. Bye, kid. This is the first day of school video, 2021. It is August 2nd, and this is a very monumental first day of school because we have been virtual for the whole school year last year and since middle of March the school year before. So we're actually physically going back into the classroom and um, Torian and Terrace are on their way to Morrow High School together for the first time, which I am excited about. And um, Terrace, scoot to the center a little so that we can see you even better and we can maybe knock out two interviews at once. So Torian, um, first day, senior year, how are you feeling? season. Um, any thoughts about that? Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> so Torian, today is April, what is it? The 17th or the, 17th. April, oh, May, oops, May 17th, 2022. It's a Tuesday morning. We are on our way to school. This is your, can y'all, can you turn that down a little, honey? I can hear your music. This is your very last day of high school. This is the very last day of, I guess, um, prescribed mandatory school. And now we're moving into the phase of optional school after this. So how do you feel today being the last day of, wow, the last day of school ever for you? And you gotta lean up and talk loud because we got the freeway competing with us. <laughs> well, I feel, um, don't feel too bad. I mean, I guess you could say it's something you can look forward to. I, I can't hear, we can't hear you. The, the bike has to pick you up way over there. He says you so. Don't know. certification for Spanish do you think that you've um, that those foundational years really really helped in your understanding of learning a second language where it was just like, oh, Spanish is like 
plus or something like that, that you, you'd be confident to say, oh yeah, I got that. I can communicate in both languages if they had, if I had clients who I needed to, to communicate with. You have, uh, okay. Yeah, you put that down. Oh, shoot. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Golly, tears. Wow. Okay. You could have ended this. Hurry up, go. Do you want something, Tori? No. Okay. So, good. You got the Spanish thing. Um, now, what about Morrow High School? What would you say the the best part of these four years at Morrow High School has been? I mean, even with having to go online that year, you seem to um, to really, really master that. <laughs> it's like if he didn't stop, you wouldn't have seen. No, I would not have. But he recognized me. Um. That's, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I want to say. Lee Gabbard. Something like Abbott. Okay. Monica's brother. Yeah. Blast from the past from my high school days. Just saw somebody at QT. Thank you, Terrace, for wanting to stop. I got that. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty cool, Torian. So, from your years at Morrow, is there anything? What was the, the very best, no, worst part? What was the worst part of your high school days? Was there a worst part? Um, sometimes you're sitting in class, maybe you're like, that's like the people. Okay, some of the people. What was the best part? Some of the people. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? That's true in, in life. <laughs> People are usually the best and worst parts because um, we're social creatures and we're around one another in community and society. So that's not going to change, son. People are going to be the best and worst parts. Um, well, I am excited for you. This being your very last day, I'm excited to be, I'm excited for this whole day, you know. I'm Team Torian and Terrace. I got on my little shirt that I made. <laughs> and um, yeah, this is part one of your exit interview from uh, school, primary and secondary school. And I love you and I'm proud of you. Um, and I'm really, really happy for you. And, and just like, you, you came out on top and I think that's amazing you did you know it was a roller coaster at times and and you endured going to all these different little experimental school type things both of you you know and yet we we came out you know you came out all right you know so I'm um I don't know I don't know if I have more words I'm just happy I really am I'm just really happy Good job, Tony. But, I mean, it'll be close to whatever. I mean, you still gotta look at everything else you gotta do. Oh, snap. You're recording? I, I was recording. Huh? I was recording. You okay, know? so. How soon before you get that? Tori in. Yes. It is May. 17th, right? Yep. 2022. Tuesday. And it is the last day of school for you. Period. Yep. How do you feel, baby? This is, you're leaving campus for the last time as a student. Feel fine. No more exams, no more papers, no more anything to turn in. High school anyway. Yeah, feel fine. Yeah? Pretty good. All right, talk about this last day and talk about some what this means to you. Um, Are you Facebook. filming yourself? Yeah. What type of angle you got? <laughs> Good one. Okay. Last day was um pretty decent, pretty good. You know, had some fun. 
chill. Oh, how are you doing? Stay hydrated, ate, you know. Yeah. Nice so what about fun with people? Uh -huh. Got to laugh, lots oh, of laughing. Yeah. That's good. Show them your yearbook. Oh my goodness. It's the Lamar High School yearbook, Raw 2022 yearbook, you know, right here. Lamar right. Mustangs. You know. Something simple. What about signing day? It's a lot easier. I mean, we just did it. At signing day? Where were you at? Signing day was really cool. Signing day was nice. Oh, we got yeah, assigned to the to ski the TU. So you know, it's not what I did that for, but okay. Um, but yeah, it was it was nice. Oh. I liked it. Got the sign, smile, you know, just well, some really good well, stuff. You know, really good stuff. Have to just put the schedule out there a little bit. Schedule for what? Teresa said she could have come today. We didn't know it was gonna be today. <laughs> yeah, I mean, technically it's supposed to be yesterday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this was last minute. Mm -hmm. We didn't know when it was going to be. You know how y'all get cut off. We got cut off. We tried to do it yesterday. They wouldn't let us. They kept my child held hostage on Gilligan's Island. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. They had senior day yesterday. We went out to the breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> and played at Andretti Sports, driving a race car. Did you finish your video? Oh snap. Uh, so <laughs> basically. Yeah. I mean you could probably reach back out. What does that mean? No more school. Just to see no I more school. I just get to relax. Maybe we get to eat, eat, work out. So give you know, hang with friends around. more. Get to be me. <laughs> and not have to uh, go to depressing school. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I wish I could have gotten in the new building. I know, right? They got a nice field, but I will be on that field. Uh, actually, I don't care what they say. I will be there on that field so, all the time. Graduate that Wednesday. But yeah. Be Thursday. Probably that Thursday. Pretty much it. Yes, leaving Thursday. Getting on the road Thursday. Yeah, we're getting on the road Thursday. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I love you. I'm proud of you. Why, thank you. <laughs>
Get out of here. Get out of there. 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 Get out of